Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, first off, happy uh, 2022. It's been a very uh, cold start down here in Nebraska to the uh, new year. But this is just going to be a quick little video here. I wanted to address a few things. It's um, probably my third time, at least, trying to do this video. I just haven't liked how the other ones have come out. And there's stuff I missed, and I'll probably miss stuff again. But anywho, today I want to talk about something. It's... How do I want to put it? Um, it's been brought to my attention by some other viewers and some comments that have been made by others. Oh, uh, for a... Uh, Hunter, you sure don't show a whole lot of hunting on your channel. Well, the purpose of this channel and what I'm trying to do here is there is more to hunting than there is hunting. I want to show the stuff that's on that is not shown on TV. I want to give helpful tips and advice and it's and you know this is just stuff that works for me maybe it'll help new hunters get into it but limiting factors to me also is that you know i work a full-time job i have a young family at home and i'm trying to farm as well i work in the ag industry I'm a semi-mobile tech for a John Deere dealership. That takes up a lot of time. Weather conditions is another thing. You know, here in eastern Nebraska, there, you know, it can be hot one day, cold the next day, and tornadoing the next day. Look, look at my December video. Anywho, um, yeah. I want to show the stuff that they don't show on TV. Hunting is a 365-day process. You don't go out there and just hunt. So there's, I'm going to say 80 to 85% of hunting involves some sort of prep work. The other 10 to 15%, 20% is actually being able to get out. Not even, I'm going to say 10% is hunting because there's even work after hunting that isn't shown. So we're going to start off kind of at the beginning here real quick. You know, first off, finding a timber, getting in the timber, there's endless, or if even if you're not hunting deer, you know, you got to get out and you got to scout it. You got to prep the timber. You got to find a place for a tree stand. You have to get out there and study your timber, your field, Whatever you're going to do, you just don't go out there and hunt. You're not going to be successful that way. What they don't show on TV is the amount of prep work that goes on. They don't show them trimming trees. They don't show them out there sitting for hours and hours and hours studying stuff, putting cameras up. You can put a tractor out in front of the cameras just to see, you know, that's what I do. I put a tractor out in front of cameras so I know what I have. I'm not baiting. Baiting is illegal in Nebraska. I just want to see, you know, what I have out there. And it's not just towards deer. I want to see, you know, if there's anything else out there in the timber that I need to be worried about, you know, trespassers or any kind of varmint that could hurt my deer. So, I mean, you have in the wintertime when it's not hunting season, you have prep work to do. You need to be practicing you, you know if you're inside if it's cold outside go to an indoor, indoor archery range if it's a nice day out go out shoot your targets you can shoot blue rock you can shoot you know target shoot with your rifle in the off season during the winter time you should be out there scouting your timber you know trimming trees you know thinking where your next spot's gonna be um Spring rolls around, you have turkey season, get out there and, and turkey hunt. That also gives you a chance to see 
what made it, you know, if you see deer, what made it after the, after the winter, after the last fall's hunts. It kind of gives you an idea of what, you know, what kind of shape your timber is going to take, you know, out to be. Also springtime. If you're going to do food plots, that's the time to pick out where you're going to put a food plot and what you're going to do in the food plot. And if you have to do any kind of conservation work around there. Summertime, keep an eye on your food plots. Keep an eye on cameras. Get out into the timber. Start trimming paths around because you don't want to become over, so overgrown that you can't get in there. Fall and practice, practice, practice. That's another thing you need to be doing. Beat out there, practice. Early fall, sometimes springtime food plots start to dwindle down. Guys will get out there, they'll tear them up and put in a fall food plot. Get back out there in the timber, you know, start start scouting in August and start putting your tree stands up in August, September, wherever you're going to be hunting. And, you know, get your cameras up, get, you know... By then, you're going to have some decent paths in the timbers from where the deer have been moving. Deer stick to trails. Elk stick to trails. Unless there is a reason, and that's usually, that one usual reason is rut, but you don't have to worry about that right now. Most of your animals stick to trails. Put cameras on there. Learn these trails. Follow them. You're not going to, you're not going to spook the deer off the trails. It is fine. Um, like I said, continue to practice, get out there early bow season, bow season, fall. You don't have to shoot anything right off the bat. If you do, you're lucky. Usually September, first part of October, it's hot and the deer aren't going to come out until probably closer to dark. Also, early in the fall, you have, you know, dove seasons if you want to go shoot. And you got pheasant. You know, that usually, most places usually start into October, first part of November. There, There's endless, endless, endless things to do. You know, there's, like I said, there's so much more to it than just going out there and hunting. You know, you have all your gear, you know, maintenance on that stuff. Your rifle, get out there sighted in. You know, I'm probably going to be kind of repetitive here, but there is a lot of stuff to do before it is actually time to go hunt. Then, after hunt, hey, you got an animal. You got a deer. You got an elk. You got a bear. You got birds. Turkeys. Pheasants. Turkeys, pheasants, and stuff like that. That's easy stuff. You know, you got to, you know, yeah, well, I'll say kind of easy. You know, you got to pluck them, and you got to, you know, still got to clean them and all that stuff. Deer, elk, big game. That's where the work is. If you think you're going to go out there and shoot a deer and drag it out the timber. I've been doing this for over 20 years. And every year, I get every time I get a deer, it reminds me how out of shape I am. You know, you, of course, you get it gutted, you get a drug out to wherever you're going to go. You know, say you're, you're lucky to have a side-by-side. -side, but during early bow seasons, a lot of lockers are not open on weekends. So you got to get that thing hung up somewhere and iced down. Or if you're going to butcher it yourself, you got to skin it, bone it, package the meat. And that's, and that's just deer. Elk is a whole nother story. You, I'm, I'm gearing up to go on an elk hunt here within the next two years, but I am starting right now to get into physical shape to get into do an elk hunt because I know just dragging a whitetail out of a timber will just absolutely tear me up. But yet, um, an elk, you have to pack that meat out. You can pack it out maybe a hundred yards. You might have to walk three miles and there, those guides are going to load you up with at least a hundred pounds of stuff on your back to try to get out. So don't, don't let it, don't think it, just don't think that hunting is that easy. You know, if you're new into this, go look at some of my previous videos from early on i explain you know different care care for your gear what gear you might need it's it's just it's it's ongoing it's it's yeah so <clears throat> excuse me so i'm not gonna rant too much longer here um i think you all kind of get the drift big things to come you know i got i'm working on a probably a 
recap of 2022 or of 2021, excuse me, um, of how things went, you know, some slides and some pictures and stuff like that. Big things to come in 2022. We're going to take a smaller video approach on some things. Um, I hope to get out there and hunt more. Uh, I'm going to try out, uh, I've had some game cams out. I'm going to try to get out and get, take care of some coyotes that are down at the timber. I got work I want to do down at the timber. I'll show you guys all that stuff. So I want to give a big shout out to everyone that has liked my South Dakota pheasant hunting videos. They have gone my gangbusters. Thank you to all the new subscribers to my videos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Everybody keeps subscribing. Pass on the word. If you're new to the channel, make sure you thumbs up these videos, leave comments. I try to answer most of them. If you want notified about the videos, make sure you click the bell. I appreciate everybody's support to my channel. I really, really, really appreciate it. More to come. Remember, safe hunting, be careful, and good luck. Thanks, everybody.